North Minneapolis' Victory Memorial Drive makes up the northwest portion of the Grand Rounds National Scenic Byway, a system of parks and parkways which encircle the city and had been proposed in 1883 by the famous landscape architect Horace Cleveland. The Victory Memorial Extension was planned by Park Board Superintendent Theodore Wirth just before World War I, but with the United States' entry into the war, construction was postponed. Worth's new design proposal for the parkway was to have a memorial plaza with a flagpole at the center, and to have the two arms, reaching south and east, planted with 1,200 elms in strict rows placed 60 feet apart from one another. The straight lines of gigantic trees will represent, in a most impressive manner, both the strength of the combined army and the sacrifice of those who fell, and in whose memory the trees have been planted. Theodore Worth Vertical bronze memorial plaques were placed beneath 568 of the trees, each with the name of one of the deceased. Charles M. Loring, the father of the Minneapolis Park System and a former president of the Board of Park Commissioners, offered to pay for the 1,200 elms along with a $50,000 trust for their maintenance. The Park Board accepted, and the trees were planted in 1921, just before the June 11th dedication ceremony, which was attended by over 30,000 people. In the 1950s, the bronze memorial plaques, which had stood upright in front of the trees, were laid on the ground and fixed in concrete for ease of landscape maintenance and because many were being pushed over by roots. The original mole-line elms, which had been selected by Theodore Wirth, weren't sufficiently winter-hardy and began dying off within three years of their planting. All of the mole lines were then replaced with a much hardier American elm, which grew into the gigantic impressive memorial which Worth had originally planned. Then, in the 1970s, Dutch elm disease claimed most of the elms on Victory Memorial Drive, and the park board made the decision to replant using not the American elm, but hackberry trees, which produced a similar profile to the former elms which lined the parkway. In 2003, the state legislature passed a bill making Victory Memorial Drive a historic district, and in 2010, a restoration and refurbishment of the parkway was carried out to preserve the historic district and its memorials for future generations, and as well to continue the memory of those brave persons who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country in World War I.